So GarageBand is a great program to start with because you can record sounds. It comes with plenty of its sounds itself. Um, it's free and comes right on your Mac if you have a Mac, but there are some limitations to it. And one of them is sampling. There's no built-in sampler to the desktop version of GarageBand. Um, but it turns out there's a really good one that's free that you can download and then add into GarageBand as an audio unit plugin. So it's just a plugin or an added program that allows you to have more functionality in GarageBand. So we're going to go over to the Momentum website here by Big Fish Audio, and they have a free sampler that can do a lot of really cool stuff. So we're going to hit download for Mac, and it downloads, yada, yada, yada. And it says, hey, it's going to install a program on your computer. Do you want to do that? And yes, you do. You say yes to all these things. It's a reputable uh, company. Hit continue, continue, agree, so on and so forth. And say install this stuff. Install. Type in your computer password. And this is installing in a format that works in like every program. It'll work in GarageBand, but it'll also work in other programs like FL Studio or Ableton or whatever else you have. So if you want, you can use this in one program and then if you move to a different one you can still use it and so now we're going to open up GarageBand just hit empty project and what we're going to do is a MIDI track so hit create if you go to window and then you hit uh, musical typing you can use your computer's keyboard go to the upper left corner and hit smart controls or press B and it's going to show you the controls for the um, synthesizer in this case down below. But we don't want to use that. We want to use our sampler that we just installed. So we're going to go to where it says plugins and where it says ePiano. On the right of it, we're going to hit this little disclosure triangle and that's going to give us an option to select uh, what we actually want to select. So let's hit that and we're going to go to um, Big Fish Audio. That's where we, that's the company that gave us this free program called Momentum. So we're going to go over there, Momentum and Stereo. Here goes. Okay, so has controls over here um, and the green part here if we click on it in the middle has these little um, hamburger style menu things if we click on that in the middle it's going to open up the full program so we do that now if you just got the program it's actually going to not do this it's going to give you a screen where you have to log in um, so if you if you're already subscribed to them you can do that otherwise you just create uh, put an email and a password in there and it'll let you log in the main thing though is this screen right here in the middle right below the where it's momentum, it says drag samples here. So I've already created a sample set. It's called a beatbox.wave. And if you want to see how to prepare this to using GarageBand, if you have something that's like not fully prepared, I can show you how to do that in another video. Meanwhile, here's a um, loop that's made and already um, uh, formatted and such. So I just take that and I just drag it into this empty area. And it's going to create this little, this little file here, beatbox.wave. We're in the mix review at the moment. Um, we don't want to be in the mix review. We want to be here in the slice view. So hit slice. Nice. Now this automatically slices our beatbox beat or whatever we have into all these areas here, which is super cool. There's lots of things you can do with it, but the most important right away is if I do my Apple K again, um, or I go to window and musical typing, then I can use my keyboard. Now, every time I hit a button on this keyboard, on virtual keyboard, it's going to trigger one of these samples. Each of the samples is connected now um, to the keyboard, like with MIDI notes. What? So my F and H right now buttons are connected to these. Now that I have this connected, I can kind of exit out of this view. I don't need to see the plug anymore. Now when I use MIDI notes here from this keyboard, it's going to trigger the sounds. So and if I hit record, Don't use Bluetooth headphones, by the way. It's going to give you delay that makes it so you can't put anything in the beat. Anyway, so I have this stuff here. Now it's recorded as MIDI triggers that will trigger those samples. Um, and I can go select them all, Apple A, or edit select all. Makes all these things turn uh, lighter green. And then I'm going to go to the quantize and quantize them by like an eighth note. Each time I have one of these little MIDI notes now, what? it triggers the samples what? in the momentum sampler. And you can use that to make beats, um, to make your own instruments with the guitar sounds or anything else you want to, um, just to trigger sound effects for a movie, whatever you like. Just uh, install that Momentum plugin, load a sample in there, put it in the slicer, and then you can trigger it with your keyboard or your MIDI keyboard. And that's it. Now you have a lot more power in GarageBand.